Welcome back sa ating channel. We are finally here back again to talk about in the technical details or reviews pagdating sa ating mga CPU coolers. Now we have here the Techware Mirage 360 that will be the next cooler that I will test. Pero before we will check on this, ipapakisilip ko muna sa inyo sa sobrang nakakagulat na results ng ating Mirage 240. With that being said, since medyo identical ang kanilang features or looks, except that mas maraming fans to, and also 360mm radiator, why not show this also to you guys before natin siya isasalang sa ating test bench. Pero bakit nga ba sobrang excited ko na hindi ko na nahintay itong cooler na ipasilip pa sa inyo para sabay na lang sana. But instead, I will go ahead and talk about the 240. What's the reason? Yan yung alamin natin. And for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system and there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan, check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Since nakasalang yung ating 240 as I have said earlier, ang ipapasilip ko na, na sa inyo is yung ating Mirage 360. Same lang din naman yung parts. Huwag kayong maglala. Looks ng fans, looks ng radiator, except that yung dimension niya is syempre pang 360 or pang triple 120mm fans. So sisimulan natin with the packaging. Techware is really quite not a budget looking uh, parts anymore because sa packaging pa lang na uh, titinan natin is uh, medyo premium na without knowing na ito pala is isang local brand. One of the thing that's shocking with this uh, Mirage 240 or this Mirage series is yung kanyang benchmark. Sa totoo lang kung bakit ko gustong gustong ipakita sa inyo ang ating results. Pero syempre, why not appreciate more yung kanyang packaging. And here you can see yung kanyang specifications at the back max noise level 35.2 dBA. Maybe captured through the uh, no, dead silent room kaya 35.2. Pero actually ang baseline natin when we gather the data is 35.5 dBA uh, using our tool. Now here you can also have the pump noise 26.9 dBA and uh, one of the thing na gustong ipakita ni Techware dito is having a budget cooler that also comes with this uh, very good acoustics because most of the coolers that are budget kadalasan maybe maganda yung performance well performing pero hindi ka nung kaganda yung kanyang fans ngayon yung, yung sisilipin natin so why I really want to show this Okay, so inside the box, makikita natin dito is yung kanyang controller. Alright, so ito yung kanyang uh, controller that can uh, be used for both RGB at saka sa power ng uh, fan. So if you want to add more fans, meron ditong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. Compatible yun siya. And then dito, for the SATA, PWM, the 3 pin, and then the ARGB. Depende na lang sa motherboard. And then for the item, eto ngayon, makikita ninyo yung kanyang fans. Wow. Looks so premium. The fan blades design is uh, kumbaga, almost like those uh, mainstream brands that I've showcased in here. This is the Omni P1 version ng fans. Ito yung napakagandang uh, nagawa ni Techware. Fan blades design pa lang makikita mo na for silent static pressure fans or setup. Okay, 1, 2, 3, the 360. And then, yes. Okay, and then uh, ito naman yung kanyang tubes, meron siyang thermal uh, insulation. Bleh, insulation? <laughs> Nakalimutan ko yung mga pronunciation. <laughs> and then, ayun, natanggalin mo yan. Yung nakakalimutan natin pag nag-install tayo, minsan na-install mo yung pump tapos all of a sudden biglang, bakit ang init? Yung pala hindi mo tinanggal to. So it's good that they have a label na warning. Remove this before you install. Maganda man yung pagka-finish, this is a pure uh, copper plate, yung kanyang block, and then yung kanyang infinity ring for the aesthetics naman sa kanyang design. So, AIO, of course, you have the pump and at the same time, the uh, CPU block there. So, hindi nila inadapt yung setup ng uh, MSI recently that the pump is installed here dito sa kanyang mismong radiator and quite another disadvantage for others. And then other stuff is nandito yung mga bracket and uh, nandito na rin kasama yung I think uh, yung ibang versions nito is meron ng LGA 1700 uh, compatible bracket pero hindi ko pa siya nakoconfirm kay uh, Techware pero recently nagdadatingan uh, na yung kanilang mga brackets for ID cooling. ID cooling and Techware is uh, just from one 
warehouse here in the Philippines. Pero I highly recommend Techware now. ID Cooling is a very, very familiar. Recently, dahil nga na ipromote siya kay Tom's Hardware as one of the best 240 coolers since 2016 yata yun. For the testing methodology, hindi ko na masyadong pag-uusapan dito para hindi humaba yung video. You may just check our previous video. I can link it down below if you want to question how we gather all of those data. Nandun na po lahat ng details. That's a video that is dedicated talking just about how we gather all of this data from the uh, setup ng test bench, how we set up yung mga tools. So if you want to question our testing, nandun po lahat na mga gusto nyo pong malaman. Now let's go and jump ahead para maging direct to the point na po tayo why I really want to showcase Techware. Techware is at a price tag of 2,900 more or less. For the 240, I think it's even lower for some stores and then at around the 4,000, not even more than 4,000 yata for the 360 variant. Yeah, for the first benchmark, 80 watts, max RPM, here is the data. O, oh, ba? Hindi ganun kaganda yung kanyang ranking. <laughs> it's just at around the top 10 yung kanyang ranking. Pero it's still a good uh, ranking or position, especially if you will compare it with other mainstream brands. Techware, a budget unit, a budget 240 AIO with good aesthetics, with good uh, design features, yet at that kind of position, pag 80 watts lang na processor, like processors na lower than Ryzen 5 3600 and that uh, normal uh, setup yan lang po ang kanyang ranking pero when we step up at a higher uh, unit, there you will appreciate more how can this AIO performs and handles higher specification processors, and dito yung ngayon medyo mapapalapit at mas tumaas na yung kanyang ranking, lower is better po ang dapat yung tinyan, don't look at the numbers na mas mataas. Because higher numbers means higher temperature. So lower temperature is better. And medyo mas lumalapit na siya. Pero here we go. Now we will have to appreciate how those fan blades works. If it's now noise normalized, like it's now at a decent acoustics with good aesthetics and good performance at a budget consumer AIO. Wow. This Techware Mirage 240 beats a lot of mainstream AIOs and air coolers out there. Given that this is just a local brand but I may advise you again when you're looking at this graph please check the difference pagdating sa decimals it doesn't mean that this is higher by 0.5 then this is a far better uh, AIO cooler it will just be a basis na lang po sa inyo if how is this cooler ranks pero all of those cooler between lower or higher by decimal numbers ibig sabihin halos magkakaranking lang mga yan subject for marginal error especially that this is a climate controlled setup and please check our previous video or the link na uh, ilalagay ko po dyan sa baba kung paano natin ginadar yung data why there is a 1 and 2 tolerance numbers pagdating naman po sa temperature pero ang pinakamaganda dito is when we crank it up to 100 watts where it is still noise normalized dito makikita nyo ngayon na this is now a far superior AIO compared to almost every AIO and air cooler na mainstream brands for a price tag of 2,900 sobrang sulit na techware at this kind of position so this is a definite definition kasi na pag uh, noise normalized na siya, hindi lang po basihan kung bakit mas maganda ang isang cooler dahil lang sa temperature, dahil nakakrank up lang lahat ng fans. Pero in real world, you really hate na pagkaon mo ng PC mo, para siyang turbo or jet fighter na, na tumutunog dyan sa tabi mo dahil lang sobrang bilis ng mga fans, sobrang taas ng fan speed. Pero yun naman, ang compromise is sobrang noisy naman ng experience. So realistic and convenience wise, hindi mo pa rin ma-appreciate kung ganun yung mangyayari. Na just for the sake of performance, months, you will have that kind of experience. And eto ngayon yung isang bagay na kung bakit ako nagulat with the Techware. They consider that everything will be balanced. Temperature, acoustics, aesthetics, well balanced, built okay naman. If you look at the built ng ating uh, Techware ngayon, refillable pa yung kanyang uh, radiator, yung coolant, pwede mong i-replace kasi meron siya ditong part kung saan ka magre-refill ng coolant soon. So pagdating sa maintenance, madali lang din siya. Built niya, it looks durable. It's been a year now na nag ang Techware Mirage, yet there are still few cases na encounter natin na mas bumibigay yung pump and that is quite comparable dun sa uh, situation ng MSI ngayon, ba Yung mga nagsasabi na ang core liquid is maganda siya pero after a year ang daming mga reported cases na yung core liquid 240s biglang bumibigay yung pump and with the case of uh, Techware, so far, hindi pa naman ganun kataas ang kanyang uh, warranty rate compared to other brands or if I may say it safely, as of now actually sa mga stores na napagtanungan ko wala pa naman pong bumabalik sa kanila if there is, maybe there's just one or two, pero rare cases. You may also try po to consult your favorite
data computer stores that sells techware if how is the warranty return ng techware Mirage. And yan yung napatunayan natin with this. Na kumbaga, dati-dati gusto ko talaga tong i-feature pero quite skeptical ako kasi hindi ko pa talaga nakukuha yung proper data for this. Pero I also want to check also how is the warranty return. Baka mamaya, yun nga, maganda nga yung temperature, maganda nga lahat, pero pagdating naman sa warranty return, yun pala after one year, bumibigay na. And that is the thing na kumbaga, safe ko nang bibitawan ngayon kasi almost, if not one year, almost one year nang merong na i-roll out ng Mirage 240 dito sa Philippine market. So congratulations sa Techwear. Nagulat ako sa results and that made me excited. Nag-ongoing pa yung benchmark pero right after na natapos yung benchmark, hindi ko na hinintay na may benchmark pa yung 360. Right away, I'm now declaring that this is one of the best, if not the best, bang for the buck AIO cooler so far as of 2022. I love this model so far. Grabe. Nakagulat lang. And uh, if there's, of course, cons that I may uh, suggest sa Techwear, I'm still trying to hanapan pa kung ano pa yung pwede kong laitin siguro dito sa product nila. Kaso lang, it's up to you na lang siguro. It's maybe subjective. It's all about the aesthetics. Do you love the aesthetics? Siguro yun yung magiging isang malaking cons niya. And then, the performance in the max RPM 80 watts. Pero hindi rin kasi ganun ka laki yung difference eh. If you will try to compare, balikan natin yung graph ng 80 watts. Maybe nasa almost rank number 10 siya. Pero, ibig sabihin hindi kasi nagagamit din yung full potential neto at that kind of uh, rate. Kasi 80 watts lang naman. And the difference compared to the other coolers na mas uh, nauna sa kanya at an 80 watts is decimals lang din. So, hindi ganun ka-significant yung difference. It's just rank at there kasi there's just few decimal numbers difference. Pero, if uh, you will try to look at it as I may state earlier, it is still almost on the same rank with the other coolers na uh, ahead dito sa ating 240. Pero, when it's needed most, like in a 100 watts uh, cooling system or the temperature is now higher, dun naman lumalabas yung full potential neto. And if it's at a max potential, there you will find out that this is now rank at top 3 or within the top 5 coolers in the market. So, ayun. Isa pang napansin ko dito, the Corsair H100i is almost on the same level with this. Pero ang napapansin ko kasi with the Corsair or with the coolers with Acetec uh, OEM pump is uh, kadalasan sa kanila acoustics din yung parang focus. Kaya minsan kumbaga kung pababaan ng temperature Acetec coolers are not the go-to coolers if uh, it's a conversation of pagandahan ng temperature benchmark. You may see there that the uh, Arctic cooling is now the ranking number one pagdating sa ganyang setup. Pero kung uh, balance features, there you will find out that Corsair is in a good uh, position dahil nga under Acetec siya. Well, pagdating kasi sa Acetec, since matagal na silang OEM ng mga pumps, they are, kumbaga, maganda na yung kanilang reputation on this market. That if you will uh, have a cooler with this kind of pump, you may uh, rest assured that that may last very, very long. Kasi it's been decades or the cool it or good uh, pump OEM din. And uh, yun lang din yung question siguro sa mga ganitong budget coolers. If there's a cons pala na pwede kong banggitin is maybe, how will it last? Will it last like those Acetec pumps na nag-last ng dekada? I mean, AIOs are of course, known na after 5 years, hindi na sila reliable. And uh, kadalasan, yun na yung time na kailangan mong nang mag-maintenance. And sad to say, back then, hindi pa ganun kadali or walang possibility unless you will modify it. Pero with this, Techware give us the possibility naman to add more coolant or to replace the coolant after 3 to 5 years. So, that's a very good uh, thing or move done by Techware in here. So, sa mga naghanap dyan ng budget coolers, I think Techware is now one of the go-to coolers, especially that kung budget naman tayo, why not go for the performance over the aesthetics? And the aesthetics, well, Techware can offer that too. Now, with that being said, and for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe.